clay is a rich and varied concept. Part of that richness comes from its ambivalence. Clay is both like work and rest without being either of those things. So clay is like work in being active, it's strenuous, it requires our attention, but it's not instrumentalized activity. And play is like rest in being restorative, but it's not passive. And so we'll take this ambivalence and we'll turn to a number of different disciplines to see if we can build a stronger, more adequate theoretical understanding of what play is. For example, we'll look at Plato and his laws, where he claims that the human beings are the puppet things of the gods, and that this is a point in our favor, that it's something that we should revel in. We'll also look at Pascal's wager and think about the relationship between theological speculation and economic speculation, how Pascal's mode of thinking about probability led to financial modeling. And we'll also think about play biologically, the biological function of play for the development of animals and of children. Finally, we'll consider how and why gaming has arisen as a prevalent aesthetic form and driving market force today.